Romeo is madly in love with Juliet. But because of a senseless family feud, the two lovers are forbidden to speak to one another. Hi there, this is Gina from HauntedFlower.com and HauntedFlowerReviews.com. And today I've got an anime review for Romeo x Juliet. If you are a theater major considering watching anime, this is your crossover. It was ADR directed by J. Michael Tatum, who also voices the character of William Shakespeare, and R. Bruce Elliott, who voices the character Conrad. The stars, Romeo and Juliet, are played by Chris Burnett and Brina Palencia. This story is just a little bit different from the original tragedy that you remember. Basically, it takes place in Neo Verona, where the Montague family murdered, like, the entire Capulet family back in the day, except for one girl who got away. Give you a hint, she's got red hair. The long-standing feud between the Montagues and the Capulets is very deep indeed. The lost princess has been in hiding in the city for many, many years, disguised as a boy named Odin. Prince Montague, who is Romeo's dad, is kind of a jerk and he's mistreating the people. But on the upside, Neo Verona is like a floating place in the clouds and there are things called dragon's deeds where people get to ride on horses with wings and tails like dragons and it's pretty badass. Also Juliet gets to do a little bit of a Carmen Sandiego tribute and she is the character of the Red Whirlwind who is like the Robin Hood of the people. She just runs around righting wrongs and feeding the poor and all sorts of things until her heritage becomes known to her and she's got a lot bigger worries on her mind and things change for her. But somehow in the midst of everything, they meet and they fall in love and they both like flowers. Oh, how nice. Yes, it has the potential to be a very seriously mushy story. But what's nice about this is that while there is quite a bit of Shakespearean language worked in, it is not the entire thing difficult to understand if you're not used to the language. I think it's very accessible. It's definitely a story everyone can enjoy. It's a little futuristic. Definitely established good and bad. Plenty of characters to cheer for. And Maxie Whitehead voices Antonio. And darn it, that girl has a good little boy voice. Other characters to mention very quickly, there's a character named Hermione, who is voiced by Carrie Savage, who was supposed to be betrothed to Romeo. Mercutio is voiced by Christopher Bevins. Cordelia, who has been caretaking over Juliet her entire life, is voiced by Colleen Clinkenbeard. Hibbolt is voiced by Mike McFarland, and his character is a little bit different than what you would expect as well. He's really cool, just kind of rides in on a dragon steed once in a while to just tell someone something important and then vanishes again. Sean Hennigan plays Lord Montague, the prince, the bad guy, and Sean Teague plays Ben Bolio, who is a friend of Romeo's. It's a pretty cool story. If you don't get emotional at all, then you're just kind of heartless. No, but for real, you should really like this story. I kind of liked it the most when Romeo decided to, like, grow a pair and go out and do stuff instead of smelling flowers all the time. Because until that point, Juliet was doing, like, all the ass-kicking. So, what can I say? The girl was awesome. Props to a girl who can handle a sword better than her man. What? The Complete Tragedy, 24 episodes on four discs. There's also a making of Romeo and Juliet that's like 27 minutes long and in Japanese that's like their little special. And also there is commentary on episode 24 from the two ADR directors and the voices of Romeo and Juliet as they talk about the casting process, the language, how good other people did, and just kind of enjoy watching the last episode of the conclusion of Romeo x Juliet. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you will subscribe on my YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube or subscribe to my podcast on iTunes if that's where you found me because it's awesome too. See ya! For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.